Hi everyone, it's the Monday the 19th of August um, and I'm going to do another playtest of Archaeology Rush. Now, um, I have still been working on this, uh, but I didn't release an update last week just because I was away. And conveniently, I'll also be away next week, so I won't be pushing an update video. Now, if you've watched previous videos, you'll realise that that's actually when it's the demo is due to come out. Um, because of this, I'm actually going to push the demo out back a month, so it will uh, come out on the 23rd of September is the uh, target date. It gives us another month to tidy things up and really get a lot closer. Now, that being said, you'll notice that uh, some of this is starting to look a little bit different. And we've got four pretty distinct silhouettes here. Um, we've got the usual, Henry. And we've also got Amelia. But we also have two new characters, Robert, which is, uh, he's a uh, army kind of veteran, he's still sort of there as transport, um, and we've also got Lily. And so I've actually been working hard in the last two weeks of getting these characters in, but you can also see a little bit of what I'm trying to do next week, which is really get the... Um, main UI kind of working and ready to go so that's that's the plan for the next um, the next week or so is to really just work on this front end game is inconsequential um so i think what we'll do is i'll do a um i'll show off one character this week and then the next two characters the next character I'll show off in two weeks, hopefully with an updated front end. So this is Lily, um, and yeah, of course she plays exactly how the others play, um, none of that has changed, um, yeah, it's still the old, same old game mode. Now, something about the, the kind of post demo that I want to change is just add in new levels uh, so that they are kind of more randomly generated. Um, and so we'll be looking kind of level types. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Just a small, steady progress. Um, we're doing, uh, I think we're doing really well on just getting these characters in and, and that was kind of a big uh a big part of just improving the game is that we needed so a lot of this is about just improving the game not necessarily to sort of improving it in or oh, this feature will be nice or x feature will be nice but rather actually just kind of go how can we make the game um sort of just up to a standard um, and because we're missing those two characters, that's a very obvious standard to hit. Um, now we'll also kind of be just focusing on tidying things up and getting, getting kind of the actual, uh, getting actual people working. Interesting enough, uh, you actually notice some really interesting, um, some really interesting <laughs> text there. Uh, back back there it just said, oh I think two people are needed here. And that I think is just a perfect example of how I wanted the text system that I showed you off, showed off a couple of weeks ago um, to work is to actually just to kind of give a hint about how something might be able to be completed. Yeah that's the end. A um, little bit of a shorter video again. But yeah really kind of moving on, getting it done, tidying things up, getting this demo complete. Um, brilliant. Thank you for watching. I will see you in two weeks, um, where hopefully we'll have a bit more of a front end uh, that kind of looks a little, little bit more complete. And then we can build off that uh, 
to, to sort of hopefully get more of a complete uh, game going forward. Uh, but yeah, the 23rd of September is the new release date for the demo. We'll have enough time to get it on uh, Steam and it should really be kind of in the moving stages. Yeah, thank you for watching and uh, have a good week. Goodbye.